headed off there by Tetsuya Harada. There is Max Biaggi. He's in fourth position on that front row. Ooh, away we go, away we go. Jacques on the pole. Vorban, the local man, doesn't get too much of a good start. So it's going to be Olivier Jacques. Harada's up there in third. Almost comes into contact with Max Biaggi. Just over three kilometers to complete here. Over the line they go. Oh, three abreast almost as they go over the line. Next time round, it's going to be real fun when they come over the line into, into the last lap. It's going to be Biaggi that leads. Uh, but Jack is up in the second place. So Harada goes from first to third place. It, oh, Hervé Fonsoral, he's the team boss for Olivier Jacques. And he's saying, oh dear, oh dear, how long does this race have to go on and on? We're into the last chicane. Oh, Jack! Jack goes deep on the brakes and he puts off Max Biaggi. But look at Harada. Harada's going to come up from fourth to first. They're going around all sorts of different lines around the last corner. It's going to be give it a handful of gas. It's going to be Harada, but it's going to be close. It is Harada. Harada wins from Jack and Vorman. Oh, mamma mia, the Aprilia mechanics cannot believe their luck on people. Mamma mia, Italy again. So Jorge Lorenzo in pole alongside him, former Saxon Ring winners. Casey Stoner, he goes to Honda next season and Danny Pedrosa behind them look out for the return of the doctor Valentino Rossi round eight of the MotoGP World Championship here at the Saxon Ring is underway surprise surprise Danny Pedrosa gets a good start as does Marco Melandri as well but it's Pedrosa who's going to lead down into turn one and look at Hector Barber on the inside of Casey Stoner oh and there's no room there Barber just ran it wide so Stoner couldn't get the inside line but he will go through and Lorenzo in turn takes the lead as well and Valentino Rossi is concerned, never say never. He's lining him up, Valentino Rossi. Oh, a crash it down, and that's uh, Alessio Spargaro with uh, Alvaro Bautista. Red flag, there's a red flag out on track. Is that where the red flag incident is, or is it the Bautista Espargaro incident that's caused the red flag? I'd say with the fire extinguishers down by his bike, it must have been the Bautista Espargaro incident. I tell you, this will help. One uh, Valentino Rossi, yeah. short and race distance. Uh, they'll start from where they were on the uh, results sheet before that lap. It's uh, it's all playing into Valentino Rossi. Oh, have a look at this goal. Oh, it was the oh my god. The, oh. It was the Punier fight in the middle of the track, and then Espargaro hit it. Bautista hit it, and the Punier's bike set on fire. Yes, look so at that. It's a turn four, isn't it? A great again. I have to say, just like yesterday, very quick intervention from the marshals with the red flags. So the MotoGP race here at the Saxon Ring has been stopped. We will restart the race. It will start completely again. Here we go. Now, listen, this is interesting. Here is Alvaro Batista. Or maybe they've gone, tried to change tyres or something. I don't know. He's but... trying to go out, isn't he? And he's been told by Erta, International Road Racing Teams Association, that he cannot go out. And there is. is that... oh, he's pleading with them as yeah. well. Within five minutes of the red flag, they have to return. It is a rule they, they brought in, That's wasn't it? So that people who were involved in crashes weren't allowed to go back out there. It's Jeff Dixon, I think, from Urca, isn't it? Yeah. Just telling him you... And Sahara uh, Sand yeah, from... Uh, you, you, I'm sorry. When the lights go out, until the chequered flag, that will decide who wins the German Grand Prix. There or will it be about Lorenzo and Pedrosa once more? OK, it's going to be 21 laps. It's round eight the MotoGP World Championship. Just a little change round on the front row of the grid. It's Danny Pedrosa in the centre now. And it's Casey Stoner on the inside. There is Danny Pedrosa, he's arrived. There is Casey Stoner. Uh, sorry, Casey, uh, Danny Pedrosa in the middle. Casey Stoner on the inside. So, here we go again. 21 laps of the Saxon Ring circuit. Round eight of the MotoGP World Championship here in the sunshine. Oh, and Danny Pedrosa, not such a great start this time from the front row, but he still gets down into turn one well. And Lorenzo's had a bit of a shocker getting away that time. Home straight one more time now. Can he get it hooked up right in the slipstream of Jorge Lorenzo? Can he fire it up on the inside and make it stick this time? Side by side across the line. They almost touch. Pedrosa should make it stick this time. As he made it stick, yes! Yes, Danny Pedrosa now leads the way. What I'm going to try and do in there, and Stoner's going to come into final corner and attack. Stoner goes through in turn 14. Across the line, Pedrosa wins. And it's up to 50 points now, thanks to that victory. For Danny Pedrosa, he celebrates with the Spanish shirt. They won the World Cup, and they've swept the board in MotoGP today.